it's like the whole TCP IP is like Wi-Fi Ethernet stack. It's actually like proprietary. So we're like, wow, and there's like no good open source implementation. I was really surprised when we like searched for it. And that's why we didn't do it. And we kind of just like, yeah. That's why we're like, I can't believe it. yeah, I can't believe it either. I was like, no way. And then it's like really hard to get it to do it. So like there is, there is one that exists, but they suck. So like we try to plug it into the FPGA, it's just kind of like, and loses tons of packets. And we're like, well, shit, can't use that. So they have really good coins. As long as you put them in a room with a good airflow, you don't need to worry about it. Nope. So you can stack sample, not a problem. Five and six is recommended. Anything higher, I, I, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm a little worried that when it gets kind of hot, like 100% of the fan goes on, it might just cobble over. <laughs> 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 so think about it. Like that, that could happen if you get past eight. Like, but um, yeah, you know, we stress tested to like 85 for like a long time, like over a, over 180 hours. Or so. And then, and then we put it like to 110, like a good 20 minutes, and it was still fine. So we're like, hey, our chips are nice. <laughs> Celsius, yes. Wow. Not fair. <laughs> That's why, oh, here, here's, a, here's the thing. I mean, I already made this deal with Gavin, but I was originally going to announce that I was going to trade one of our development boards. We made, like a, we made like 10 development boards in the early days to do like rapid prototyping and things like that. The development board is six giga hashes. 65 watts and 40 degrees passively cool. So I don't understand how Jalapeno is doing like 5 watts, 55, you know, 5 giga hashes, 55 watts, and 80 degrees. Like, but there are two generations ahead, so it makes no sense. So I was gonna be like, okay, if anybody has a Jalapeno right now, I'll trade them for a development board so I can do an optical scan, find out if they're actually 65 or not. <laughs> <laughs> so now that when Gavin gets his, I'll trade him the thing, and then we're gonna go scrape the chips, and, like take a photo and see. If <laughs> it's like I don't believe that crap. Like, what the hell is this? It's not possible. Yeah, we're 110 for sure, but and if they're claiming they're two generations ahead and they have worse power issues than us, and they have a lower clock, they're like they're like running 110. You know, they have 32 cores according to their design if they actually use that one, and so they should have like 110 mega hashes as their core speed. Should get hits. Mega hertz. Should get hits. Ah. Well, I think, do you have a single? Do you have a holiday? Ah, he has a little single. Well, then that's not going to work. Five or six. <laughs> no, dude, the development the, the war is like collector item stuff. There's only ten ever made. You know? Uh, it's worth more than the actual machine someday, right? Yeah, I think so. Since you're not, since you're opposed to any investors, do you see yourself uh, after you take this project as far as it could go? Do you see yourself selling it to like somebody more corporate that can compete on the level of Intel or something like that? Might be a controversial question. <laughs> I think we might just open source the design for that. Okay. okay. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I think you mentioned your seed money was like 300 grand to get the first batch off the ground. Is that right? How would you come up with money? Oh, I, oh, I crowdfunded it. Batch one, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> this guy right here. <laughs> yeah, 300, 300k for 300 units or so. I think that is the way of the future. Like, screw investors, no offense. Crowdfunding? <laughs> 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 ah, well, no, well, you don't really count. Yeah. <laughs> but, Not an institutional yeah. investor, right? Yeah. Because never, I, I think in life you should never trade like money for leverage. It doesn't work. Just do yourself, and if enough people like what you do, and they'll just spend your money. Like, look at what, like, Kickstarter is blowing up, like, so big. And they're in the same boat. They're like no investors. We want to like focus on our core ideals and keep doing what we do. Like Kickstarter rejects is like probably more invested than I would did. Like do that. Also. So for your tablet project, do you ever accept like social funding or crowdfunding? I love investing in your next project. So. <laughs> when I get it out, I mean, I want to. I want to really stop doing this whole pre-order thing. Like if we're batch four, if we're gonna sell, we're gonna make it even. We're, we're gonna like get it ready before we like wreck the ship before we even put out orders. Because in reality, we're like, okay, let's uh, let's keep moving the way we did for batch one. We thought that was okay. And then we realized that like that's not cool because you know we're we're taking other people's money to to somehow and and we thought it would be it would be okay because we have like you know all the dates and we planned out everything. It's gonna, so we're gonna take money. It's gonna deliver an X amount of time. And then we realize how shitty the, the business world is when it comes to dates, and we're like, well, shit, I don't want to have this reputation of taking people's money for a few months, like, what's my last No. 
So, so we're gonna stop doing that. Can you give the Chinese New Year 